God. He says he hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. His mercy and truth toward the house of Israel. The Negro Latino the Native American, man. So that's that's who the who, who the world enemy called Jesus is coming back to get, man. And the elect out of them, man, because two-thirds of our people are not gonna change, man. They're not gonna repent, man. They're gonna stay rebellious and stiff necked, man. You see? It says all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the earth make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Man, you talking about partying. When Israel, when when the elect get delivered up out of out of, out of this destruction and, 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 and start setting forth the kingdom upon the Yahweh Hashem you talking about partying, man. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. You talking about Jake throwing a party, man. Man, it's gonna be beautiful, man, in righteousness, man. Jake gonna be partying so hard, Jake probably ain't gonna be able to go to sleep, man. You know? To have, have everything restored back to us as a nation of people, man, and not be put to shame, man, and not had a and, and not had a uh, slave patrol come by and say, y'all got the music too loud, y'all making too much noise. Well, had a white man in chains, man, and he ain't gonna be able to do nothing but be jealous. Go ahead. Sing unto the Lord Yahweh with the heart. With the harp and the voice of a song, with trumpets and sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods of clap, the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord Yahweh, for he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world yep. and the people with uh, equity. Equity. Mm -hmm. so, the word equity. Uh, God. God. He got it so he, he coming to judge, man, like the scripture said. It's not going to be no beautiful time for you people, man. That was Psalm 98. Yeah. Uh, so like you said, you better wait to righteousness while you got a chance. And just tell them, let them know that I have everything. Because when that door closed, <laughs> ain't gonna be nothing left but the crime. Uh, equity. And destruction on America, man. Uh, my, my sharp. Uh, Maya, Maya Shar, evenness, uprightness, straightness, evenness, level, smoothness, uprightness, rightly, uh, strong, it says evenness, that is, figurative, prosperity, or concord, also straightness, that is, figurative, rectitude, it says agreement, a right, that is equal, things that are right sweetly upright so that's what the lord when he come back the judge the earth he gonna make it right man he gonna make it right that's where you're gonna get justice that's when you're gonna get justice and prosperity that's when you're gonna win man everything gonna be restored to you man you're gonna win man then like it tell you in uh deuteronomy the 28th chapter the first verse on down all them things, man, the Israel, uh, uh, all the blessings gonna come upon Israel, man. The Negro Latino, the Native American, and all the curses pursuing the, pursuing the Deuteronomy 37 gonna fall on these other nations, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hey, the precept to that is, uh, says, look at Psalms 96 and 10. And it says, stay among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people right, 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 rightly. Righteously. You know, so the world gonna be established is the world of what? Israel, man. Yeah. That's what's gonna be established, man. Yeah, because the world was made for our sake. Huh. You know, it was made for the Negro Latino the Native American sake. You see the you see the the, the governance of the so-called white man. You see the government, I mean, everything is corrupt, man. The water polluted, you got GMO, you got everybody on drugs, you got flaming faggots everywhere. They pass a homosexual, they pass homosexual laws where homosexuals get married. You see it, man. You see it. You 
you got the women ruling over men. So you see it, man. You see the government, the governance of the so-called white man. It's destruction, man. The earth is falling apart, man. Everything is falling apart, man. All the way to the to the household, all the way to the to the heavens, man. Birds falling out of the sky, man. Uh, fish jumping out of the water, man. Everything is dying, man. There's no morals, man. No moral upheld in this, in this wicked kingdom, man. The rulership of the so-called white man, man. These people don't don't uh, 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 know right from wrong. When you look up the word moral at the free dictionary.com, <laughs> they'll say, where you get that definition from? I just don't. But go ahead. You want the wisdom of the sun? Yeah, yeah. But that's a salvation. Five and one. Uh, it says, Wisdom of Solomon, 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. That's what you see right now. Encourage, man. Look up the word boldness in the etymology. Encourage, man. Encourage and not being moved, man. Not being moved, man. Encourage, man. In the spirit of y'all, Bosh, you a shot. You know? That's what we're doing, man. Bonus. Uh, when I typed it in, it pulled up all, all, all audacious confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Bold. Bold. yeah. They're gonna say confidence. Yeah. That word, yo. Yeah. Audacious means confidence, also. It says bold, brave, confident, strong, bold, swift. Uh, those who are bold. That's what it means, it's bold, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And confidence, man. Right. You see? What else is that? Swift and what? Swift. Boldness. Uh, brave, confident. Brave, man. Not being moved, man. Brave, man. Uh, you confident like that, you're not moved and able to, uh, uh, nobody's able to bend you in another direction, man. When you confident, man. In the spirit of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. God. You know? It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that afflicted him. That afflicted him? How? Mentally and physically, man. I just told you about the brother that did a video in Texas breaking the book. You see? That's part of affliction, man. All, all the Jake's in the penitentiary, man. All the Negro Latinos in Native America in the penitentiary, man. And going through straight hell, man. Getting treated like animals, man. You see? By these unrighteous laws that they that they push forth, man. To trap Jacob, man. And to split up the homes, man. To where the women, the women go off on their own, man. And the men end up in prison, man. That's how you destroy a nation, man. That's part of affliction, man. Mentally and physically. And made no account of his labor. Made no account of his labor. Right? Because they don't value what we're saying. Because right now, as a nation of people, we in shame, man. We being put to shame. But when that salvation comes, we get delivered. We're gonna be rejoicing, man. And all these other nations gonna be put to shame, man. Because when you look up that word, uh, what uh, that, that word account, it goes into something uh, that's uh, a payment or something that's a uh, 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 value. So they don't value what we're saying, man. They make mockery of us. You see? They just scroll on by, man. Back up what your brother just said. This is uh, Isaiah 52, 13. It says, Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and exalted and be very high. See them? So Israel going to be very high, man. You see, above all these nations, man. Most I gonna make it good, man. The most I not a man that he should lie, man. He gonna make it good, man. 
Yeah. You see, he's going to restore everything because the Negro Latino the Native American and make it good, man. Now women ain't going to be walking around here looking like sluts, man. Because that's what they look like, man. Straight sluts and prostitutes, man. And they ain't going to be laying down with uh, six or seven different men and, and laying down with any other any other heathen nation, man. Bringing forth bastards, man. God. They're trying to bring the bastards into the covenant, man. That shit ain't going to happen, man. It's going to be set in order, man. God. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with fear, terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. What's the strangeness of the salvation? Because they didn't value what we were saying. So the strangeness of the salvation is what? Yahweh Shai coming back for salvation for the Negro Latino the Native Americans in them chariots, man. Just like you seen on uh, Independence Day, man. Just like you seen in War of the World, man. You see, that's how the Lord, that's how the world, even recall Jesus is coming back, man. They tell you Acts the first chapter and in Revelation the first chapter. Right. What you got? Go ahead. Acts, Acts, it's Acts 1. That was the Spirit. God, Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Yeah, this was an account that the Lord was dealing with Peter. And this, this, uh, this account, Luke wrote it. Go ahead. God, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Really start up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, start uh, up a little bit. Let's go back to uh, verse 6. When they therefore would come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thy at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Now, this was after he was risen. This was after he was risen. Okay. After they crucified them on the cross. So here they is talking to him. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them. Which that was an Israelite right there. Go ahead. He said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the season. It's not for you to know the time or the season. Why? Because that, that time and that season is in the, in the mind of the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father is going to set that forth when Israel get delivered in the time. Okay, in that time. But what they were doing was going above their measurement. So they were trying to find out. But the thing about it is, they was having to prophesy on that side and they was they were finna have to die. Okay? They was gonna have to die on that side and finish they were gonna have to finish prophesying about who the world in the called Jesus, and they were gonna have to die and come back. Go ahead. Come. And it says, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father have put in his own power. Which have put in his own power. Go ahead. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. What's the Holy Ghost? It's the Word. The Word, man. So the power is, we already got it through the Spirit. He's able to defend these, able to defend these scriptures. And give you the testimony of your how about you was shot and let you know salvation is for the Negro Latinos the Native American and the elect out of them. We're able to do that now. We're able to read your mind. Because guess what? When we find out that you don't agree with these scriptures, we find out you the devil. So that's able to read your mind. Okay? Come and on. then on top of that, the spiritual power, man. When we're gonna be able to control the elements, Lord willing, we don't men to be able to control them elements, man. During the time of war, man, because war coming to America, man. War coming. Uh, it says, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem. Both and, in Jerusalem. Go ahead. And in they, all Judea. Which they done that. Go ahead. And in Samaria. Go ahead. And unto the othermost part of the earth. So they back here again on the othermost parts of the earth, being a witness and giving you the gospel of who the world in recall Jesus. Which his name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Let you know that he's our savior, man. That's what right. we believe in. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And knowing his son, he's our savior, man. And they're so-called black men. They Israelites. Right. Okay. And it says, verse 9, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of the sight. Yeah, a cloud. 
what the so-called white man calls a UFO. You see? He throw that term on it to confuse you. But in the Bible, they known as clouds and chariots. That's how the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans gonna get delivered out of Babylon the Great, Sodom and Gomorrah, in Egypt. All balled up in the one, because that's what America is, man. This place has been nothing but bitterness for the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. It's like you swallowed a ball of radiation, man. And ever since we've been over it, niggas been dying left and right, man. Getting treated like shit. Uh, and it says, verse 10, And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white of pearl. Go ahead. Oh, with the angel. Go ahead. Which also said, ye men of Galilee. Ye men of Galilee. Go ahead. It says, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Y'all almost got it right. Right. Oh, there you go, Satan. Go on, on, Satan. Go on, on, Satan. Go on, on down the tree, Satan. See, that's a demon right there. That's a demon right there. He in that Rastafari madness. He in that Rastafari madness. See that? He, he with the he with Haley Selassie, which is Satan, man. He believe in the Ethiopian, man. He believe uh, Haley Selassie is uh, 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 come out of the loins of uh, David, man. He out of his damn mind, man. Out of his damn mind. See, I knew, man. See, that we already read his mind. That's why he started laughing when I said it, man. Just seeing that Rastafari madness, man. That's safe. Tell me we almost got it right. Nah, nigga, you error, man. Nah. Go ahead. Says, That's why you walking around with them damn nappy-ass, dirty-ass dreads in your head. And hey, this philosophy didn't even have no dreads. God, it you says, see, Annie will bury it up under the toilet, man. God. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. And his mother, and his mother, now, like I always say, dealing with Haley Selassie, some people say he's Ethiopian, and some people say he's East Indian, right? But... I seen it one time the way we're saying he was East Indian, but I can't find it no more. They blackballed that shit. I can't find it no more. I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna go with what I can see right now. Is he's a he's an Ethiopian, okay? And his mother, his mother was the uh, was a uh, uh, was an in royalty. But but Haley Selassie's uh, father, his father wasn't even in royalty. The reason why he was able to get the throne it was because his mother. But his actual real father, his father wasn't even in royalty, man. So that was a that was a that was a setup for him ruling over them Ethiopians. But that didn't have nothing to do with us because those are Kushites, man. We not no Africans, man. We're Hebrew Israelites, man. Them Africans, them Hamites are a whole nother nation from us, man. Noah had three sons, Sham, Ham, and Japheth. We come out of Sham, they come out of Ham, man. That's why he don't know nothing, man. That's why the Most High gonna destroy that simple ass nigga, man. You see? He don't know the history, man. These niggas don't know no history, man. They just blurt out what, what the white man have put out there and and, and, and and they embrace that, man. They try to push that shit on you. You see? And we cut them with the truth, man. God. You don't waste no time with no nigga like that, man. God. And then and then them nap them rotten ass fucking dreads, man. Man, fucking Jake fucked up with that dead ass shit. That's why he got a dead ass spirit on. Him. See? That's a dry bone right there. He got a dead ass spirit on. Rest That's why he got them dead ass dreadlocks and that dead ass hair on his head. The rest of these Jake's walking through here, man. But what you got walking through here is a damn Sigma uh, sorority and fraternity uh, thing going on right here at the hotel. And they study walking through. They looking at the sign, but they just as dead as hell, man. They dead bones, man. Yep. They dead as hell, man. But the most high y'all about to now try to destroy their ass because they walking right past the truth. Yep. So they being marked. Yep, this is it. Like, it, like it says in Psalm 23, the valley of the shallow of death, man. You see? These niggas are dead and Jake and the Negro Latino and Native American uh, get killed all day long, man. Mm -hmm. That's the valley of the shallow of death, man. These niggas get killed all day long, man. Get hung and put the shot to shit, man. All day long, man. God. It says, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Why? Because it's going to be something they ain't never seen before, man. They're going to get a hell of a shock treatment, and it's going to be killing season. 
It's going to be killing season, man. It's going to be judgment, man. Doomsday. In other words, man. Doomsday. God. It says, and the word doom means judgment. Go ahead. It says, and they and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Because the thing about that is, like it says in Psalm 91, when that salvation comes, and them missiles be hitting America simultaneously, uh, the elect gonna get beamed up in them trunk in them in them chariots, man. You see? The elect gonna be get beamed up in them chariots, man. What you call UFO? What the so-called white man call UFO? You see? But we know what them uh, 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 them chariots are for. The salvation of the nation of Israel. Those are the heavenly Father angels in His army, man. He says, and shall be amazed the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So far beyond all that they look for, man. You see? The elect looking for it, but the masses of our people, they ain't looking for it, man. They don't know how they're going to get out of this situation, man. Or they're going to try to take matters in their own hands and they're going to die, man. You see? They're going to die, man. Huh. Our people are zombies, man. These Negro Latinos and Native Americans are zombies, man. They are zombies in America, man. That high fructose and that G and them GMO and that corn syrup got these niggas in zombie mode, man. They are spiritually dead, man. 